and welcome back to School of Experiments. Now, in my previous lessons, we have learnt about uh, uh, vernier calipers. So, this is what uh, I was teaching. And uh, today, I want to teach you about uh, the uh, screw gauge, uh, which is commercially known as uh, micrometer. Okay. In, in textbooks, it's written as screw gauge because it works on the principle of uh, screw and uh, commercially this is known as micrometer so let us see how this screw gauge works out okay so if this imagine this is a screw and uh, i will show you practically this is a screw okay this is a screw and this is a nut so if you turn this nut this is moving either to left or to right depending upon the rotation of the uh, nut I mean uh, if it is clockwise it is moving forward if it is anti-clockwise it is moving backward now I will use this principle of nut being moved towards one direction as my measurement so I will explain you here what happens is when if the gap between one thread to another thread what you call it as a pitch p i t c h pitch if the pitch is around 0.5 mm let us say or it can be 1 mm it depends whatever pitch you want to maintain you can maintain let us say if it is 0.5 mm here then if if you turn this nut let us imagine this is a nut this is a nut if you rotate this nut by one direction i mean by by one turn i mean the distance moved by this nut is this point fire map this gap again is point fire map understand supposing if you turn this nut by half round only half round then the distance moved by this nut will be that means 0.5 by 2 which is equal to uh, 0.25 mm okay like that if if the the the, the number of turns or the amount of turn you rotate for this particular nut is equal to the distance traveled by the nut. So the same principle is used to measure the supposing if I divide the entire one rotation into let us say 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 divisions that is what uh, this vernier was uh, designed uh, this particular if you think that this is the nut here and uh, this rod is the screw here this portion i'm showing because the thread is inside this uh, inside this uh, micrometer i mean what you call screw gauge and this is a locking facility once you read you can lock lock it here and it will not move now so the the gap is calibrated here with a scale and this also has a scale here on the back I mean uh, uh, if you see here if you see here this has 0 to 25 divisions uh, 0 to 25 divisions uh, I mean uh, that is 25 mm graduations and this screw if you see here this is uh, 0 and uh, this is 45 so 46 47 48 49 50 0 so the this total divisions are 50 here okay so when i put an object here let us imagine we will try to measure the diameter of this the screw only we will see before that i want to show you something else on the back of this uh, 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 screw gauge 
uh, it has written 0 to 25 mm that means that means yeah. this is uh, the, this this scale whatever the scale is 0 to 25 and the bottom point is uh, uh, 0 0.01 mm that is the least count the bottom line I am talking about is uh, 0.01 mm which is nothing but the least count of this vernier that means using uh, sorry well not vernier I mean a screw gauge uh, that means using this micrometer or the so called screw gauge we can measure a minimum of 0.01 mm so there is no big difference between uh, uh, this and the vernier okay because both are used for sensitive measuring but the screw gauge is more sensitive compared to vernier calipers so though the least con i mean the, the one i purchased is having uh, 0 1 but there are screw gauges available up to third third decimal that means 0, 0, 001 mm measurement is also possible okay but whatever case it may be the principle of working is one and the same so what happens now uh, how to calculate the least count last time i already told you when we were talking about vernier calipers so but in case of vernier calipers in case of screw gauge the least count calculation is different here if you think the least count is equal to pitch of the screw pitch of the screw is nothing but distance between one thread to another thread which is 0.5 mm and the number of circular scale divisions number of circular scale divisions that means the circular scale is this one uh, and the total lead is divided into 50 divisions in this case it can be divided into 100 also so 0.5 by 50 is the uh, uh, list count for here and my, I multiplied by 2 by 2 so it comes to 1 by 100 and uh, this comes to 0.01 mm list count. So now we will see we will measure some object and uh, uh, let us see how it works out. So to give you a fair idea, I will draw the complete diagram here also now, so that you can understand. So if you take this, this screw is nothing but this one, okay. Let me erase this. Now. This is the grip where we hold and rotate and this particular scale is now full. Let us say this is divided into 50 divisions. Okay. And uh, here this is holding here. And now this has come a fixed uh, object here so this this point I am showing here and uh, this point of course it's not symmetric let me draw symmetrically So this portion, this portion, I am showing this is the, this portion, this is the, this portion. Now we can put an object here to measure and tighten this screw so that you will get some reading here. So this scale what I am talking uh, should, should, should uh, read the main scale reading. This is, this is the main scale here. That means we have a scale on here this will not be visible here of course so we have a scale here normal scale 1 mm 2 mm 3 mm 4 mm 5 mm 
and 6 mm up to 25 mm this particular screw gauge has and uh, and uh, uh, so the maximum we can measure using this uh, screw gauge is 25 mm beyond that we cannot measure so let me put one object and see I am trying to measure the diameter of this particular screw and I am putting it here and I am rotating I am trying to measure the diameter of this screw so I kept the screw here and uh, just tighten here and using this if you rotate like this you will get a sound tick 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 sound so which ensures that this proper tightness will give you a more accurate reading so this is reading uh, 25 on the vernier scale so let us read first on the uh, main scale so 1 2 3 4 4 4 on the main scale that means somewhere it is here so the, the calculation remains same the the length of the object is equal to main scale reading plus vernier here it is uh, circular scale reading circular scale reading into least count so the main scale reading is around 4 here plus the circular scale reading is around 25 here and the least count on the back it is written already is multiplied by 0 0.01 so this works out to 4 plus 25 into uh, this thing 0.25 which is equal to 4.25 mm is the diameter of this particular uh, screw. Uh, like this, you can measure any object's uh, length. Uh, there are other various varieties of uh, uh, screw gears are available in the market. And of course, uh, the, this there are some limitations for this screw gauge you see in case of vernier we can measure the internally I mean externally and uh, we can measure internal also we can measure the depth also but using this you can only measure the external diameter of the objects so there are screw gauges available in a different shape that they can also measure internal diameters. Hope you enjoyed the thing. Thank you and see you for the next lesson. Bye.